Well, hello everyone. Thank you for joining me as we dive into a glance at Sagittarius. Sagittarius. So now we're getting into, again, a little older. We're getting into a little more mature stage in life. When you've kind of gone through, you're almost headed for retirement. You're at the final stages of your visions, your dreams. You're able to look back on life. You've got wisdom, but you're not done yet. You still have that one more dream. You have that vision before you that's always calling your name. <laughs> Sagittarius is ruled by Jupiter, and Jupiter, we know, is the planet of expansion. We also see religion here. We see faith. We see beliefs. We see Father. Um, and so Sagittarius often will live a life pursuit of following a belief system. Um, or exploring many belief systems. Some Sagittarius will study all cultures, all religions, all belief systems, and be very knowledgeable in, in you know, um, philosophical things. Some Sagittarius will be very specific, where they'll be even almost, Jupiter, I should say, can get, um, you know, follow a cause and not able to always see all the details. Um, sometimes we see cultic type situations here or cult leaders that believe that they have this one and only answer. So it can kind of play out in different ways, but they have this amazing ability for world renowned philosophies and understanding them. Here you'll also see the professor. Um, when we look at the younger signs like Gemini, you're, you're looking more like the high school teacher or the junior high counselor. But when we're looking at Sagittarius now, we're looking at the professor. We're looking at this teacher that's very knowledgeable. Sagittarius will often go to higher learning. And even if they don't like college, which might be some other aspects going on in their chart, they will be self-studied. They love to study things on a master level. So they're always looking to master because here we have the mastering. Um, they're also very attracted to the leaders. They're, it's a fire sign. So, so they're very attracted to who's in charge here. You know, they might be the teacher's pet. Um, they might end up having a love affair with the teacher. <laughs> They're very attracted to the the high up leadership, the people that are, you know, the preachers, the speakers. Um, Sagittarius, you often do see preachers here. Um, I believe Billy Graham has a lot of Sagittarius in his chart. Um, here for females, this can be a little bit masculine as well. Again, another kind of tomboy. We see that with the Libra, sometimes with the Gemini. Um, but in Sagittarius for a woman, we see the woman that loves venture, loves to go camping, loves to go hiking, can wear makeup, cannot wear makeup. They tend to like to follow the trends or they're really good at mimicking the trends, but they're not always really good at you know what is my identity because they like to idolize and so on the shadowier side of the Sagittarius they can be someone that kind of steals um, uh, not so much identity but will look like somebody else who's in a power position which can be helpful to them so they want to go get a job they know what somebody looks like that's got confidence they'll look at the magazines they'll see what you know what is the trend and they'll mimic that so you know that again isn't necessarily a bad thing but them kind of having their own identity or their own being their own master it takes a long time so it's kind of like fake it till you make it um now, Sagittarius men, um, you know, a lot of actors here, okay? Jupiter will give out this expansive personality. Again, preachers. Um, a lot of famous people are Sagittarius. Uh, a lot of directors and movie makers because Jupiter is all about, again, creating this picture that's bigger than life, larger than life. And they will be larger than life. On the shadowy side, this can be someone that's kind of the know-it-all where they're, 
because they usually kind of do. <laughs> They've studied it. So you have to be pretty intelligent to kind of have for them to gain your respect or that you to know something they don't know. Um, sometimes it can be over dominating, you know, where it's like, gosh, I never can, you know, I never have anything intelligent to say. They always know everything. Um, they can be a little sarcastic. So sometimes that can feel like a little put down, you know, they kind of do like to play around a little sarcastic. They're witty. They're funny. Another one with a big smile. Okay. Our fire signs are the signs with big smiles, Aries, Leo, and Sagittarius, big smiles, happy, joyful, optimistic. Jupiter can bring optimism. Again, always looking at, you know, it's, it's, um, the archer, you know, pointing that arrow at, at a dream, a vision, the big picture. Sometimes that, you know, they can struggle with the details of the big picture. Um, and always seeing so big that, you know, you got to actually make this happen. That's why they need a good Virgo friend. <laughs> um, sometimes with Sagittarius men here, and I will say this, because the for Sagittarius women, this can be like a little bit of a more masculine energy. I've seen with Sagittarius men um, actually having more of a feminine uh, a presentation, I should say. Um, or just, you know, a, a lot of gay men are Sagittarius. Um, uh, you know, it's not uncommon. So um, you see that a lot in charts. So... It can play out because they are able to be so many things. Jupiter can kind of shape shift into whatever they want to be. Um, Bruce Jenner is a Sagittarius, and we just saw him go through a huge transformation of from a man to a woman. But look at how many different personas he's had. Look at how many different characters he's played. And now he's playing this out boldly. Okay, there's your fire sign, boldly. Um... I'm trying to think of anything else that would be it. Sagittarius is ruled by the hips, so a lot of Sagittarius will have hip problems. Um, it was kind of interesting because Saturn went into Sagittarius uh, September of 2015. And literally right as Saturn went into Sagittarius, my mother broke her hip. So I thought that was interesting. So a lot of people, you know, like I said, who are Sagittarius, can have hip problems, can also have boils, like on your hips or, you know, like, I don't know, boils, okay? <laughs> I don't know. We, we'll have to, you have to think about where those can happen, but that is another common, kind of common trait or even some acne. So, but more of the cystic, it just seems to be a common trait. Um, yeah, I think that Sagittarius is, you know, that's where you have this, this, person who, like I said, is the preacher, is the teacher. I have Sagittarius in my 10th house, and so that's my house of career. So here I am teaching and trying to master something um, coming out through Sagittarius. So, um, you know, there you got to have a Sagittarius in your life because they will bring optimism. They will help you have that bigger vision. They will see the bigger picture. Um, you know, and they're wise. So, yeah. All right. Well, that's a few things to think about. If you guys have any questions, remember that this is a on private setting for my online library only. But you can um, comment below, and I'll be able to see those questions if you have any questions or comments about Sagittarius. Um, and, you know, working with the Sagittarius or uh, chart reading with the Sagittarius is fun. They love to look at all concepts of life and, you know, you're going to be around a visionary. So that's always exciting. All right, you guys, have a great day. I'll be back for Capricorn.